Welcome to TGI Friday, everyone, and what a Friday it's going to be for all you figure skating fans out there as Kim Yona is set to make a return from injury during the Golden Spin of Zagreb. Now, the 23 year old figure queen is all set for the event, which will prepare her for the upcoming 2014 Sochi Winter Games. And later tonight, with the short program taking place, the 2010 gold medalist will perform for the first time, Sent in the Clowns. And with the free skating taking place on Saturday, her performance is supposed to be a very upbeat one as she said to skate to Adios No Ninos, a tango performance. Now, the nation's eyes will be on Kim Yona as they hope her recent foot injury is no concern before the Winter Games. Now, Korea is known to host some of the biggest sporting events in the world. And after Thursday, Korea will add another to their long list as FIFA announced that Korea will host the 2017 U-20 World Cup. In a meeting which took place at Costa do Suipe, Brazil, FIFA announced that Korea will be the host nation. The latest news, Korea will have had hosted all the major World Cup events, including the 2001 Confederation Cup, the 2002 World Cup, and the 2007 U-17 World Cup. Meanwhile, the host city has yet to be confirmed as 10 cities are currently in the running. And moving on to baseball, a huge treat for all you baseball fans here in the nation as the high school alumni baseball tourney kicked off on Thursday with some of the current and former baseball players playing for their high school teams. And on the first day, Incheon's Tongsan High School beat Gwangju Jade High School 11-8 with Pochar High School beating Kaesong High 5-2. And so with that, moving on to some Thursday night's KBL action as the struggling Wonju Dong Promi beat Chunju KCC Aegis in a close one, 77 to 73. And with Ursan Mobis Phoebus facing off against Anyang KGC, let's take a look at the highlights. Now, first quarter of the game, Ursan's Moon Young scoring 14 of Ursan's 18 points as they take an 18 to 9 lead. Second quarter with six different Mobis players scoring in the quarter, they cruise into halftime with a huge 43-23 lead. Second half starts and Sean Evans trying to get the team back into the game. Hepton cut the deficit down to 10 points. But the rally is cut short as Mobis hangs on to take this game 66 to 56. And finishing things off with Thursday night's V League action, we had one game take place as the winless Russian Cash Vespits took on LIG. Now, going into the game, first set, Russian Cash off to a great start thanks to Song Myung Gun as they take the first set 25 to 19. Second set, LIG trying to bounce back, but with Thomas Edgar's costly mistakes on the offense, Russian Cash take the second set as well 25 to 23. Russian Cash needing just one more win, and thanks to Arpit Baroti's 24 attack points on the night, Russian Cash get their first win of the season and their first team win, three sets to nothing. And that's going to wrap it up for me. This has been SJ. Have a great weekend, everyone, and see you guys again for your sports needs.